Look at this. Wouldn't you just plant it again? Yeah, I wish it was that easy. Look at the size of this leaf. Look at this. It's huge. These freaking leaves are huge. And there's one coming right there. All right, guys, so as you know, I said that this would be a three-part video. This is part two, and I wanted to show you the other plant that I found that was in the Costa or Costa Farms collection that I did locate out in uh, Florida, but I did not locate this plant in the same store as uh, the same Lowe's. Actually, I believe I located this in a Home Depot, so let's get to that plant. And here is the plant that I located. I wasn't even, no, I was looking for this plant. I was looking for some specific plants. And as you see, this one is two-sided. I did repot it because just like the, the uh, Moonlight Trubii, they were in six inch pots, ceramic. I had to take them all out of their pots and just put them in plastic bags so that I could, uh, pack it up and not have to worry one about the pot breaking to it's fitting so me putting it in the plastic bag everything worked out perfectly and because I left those pots in Florida um, at my in-laws I repotted it into a six inch terracotta pot and so far this plant is doing very well too with acclimating I did add another rubber band sorry up here they, it came with just this black one. I added another one up here just to confirm that these roots will start um, growing into the board without any worry because it wasn't really uh, laying flush against the pot, I'm sorry, the board when uh, after I took it out of the pot. It was fine before, but once I took it out of the pot, and packed it up it just kind of got messed up a little there but other than that it looks very good so i believe the name of this plant is a shingle plant but i'll put the name below so i can confirm that for you guys and then i looked over to my left because i remembered that i had the tag and there is the name shingle vine it has all of its care instructions there but I'm going to read it because I do not know much about this plant other than visually I liked what I saw when I saw it on a few people's, uh, whether it was their Instagram or their YouTube, but I think it was mainly Instagram. So it says light is medium, water, water when the top inch of soil dries. Now me having this in a terracotta pot says that this plant will um, dry out faster considering that the terracotta pot will absorb the moisture that is um, coming from me watering the pot but I do have a water meter so I'm going to check it as needed the other thing here is now I do wear glasses but I can't see everything that's small so when you see me do this that means I'm having a hard time reading Okay, so temperature says keep above 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 13 degrees Celsius. Fertilize, it says to do it every six months. Growth rate is medium, so it's not super fast and it's not super slow. Or should I say it's not a fast grower, it's not a slow grower. And since I purchased it, which was about a week and a half ago, there is new uh, growth coming on the plant that was there when I purchased it, at least on one side. And by the way, I bought two of them. Um, but it's starting to, you know, I'm, I'm seeing some growth on that new growth. It was very small, it's a little bigger now, but anyway. And it says the perfect place, bright living rooms, dining rooms or bedrooms. So basically any room that is bright, because I believe it likes indirect light. Now, I personally have mine in my living room, and this is a northeast-facing facing window. 
so it gets the morning sun and so far so good these two plants have acclimated to my space very well while i was in florida it was very very humid there it was pretty much in the 90s every day while we were there new york also had 90 degree weather while we were there but then it dropped into the 70s when we returned back we were still in the mid to upper 70s and then now the temperatures have gone up but the humidity has gone up even more than when i returned when i came back to new york the humidity was in the low 30s upper 20s which was surprising but since then it is currently i'm looking down at my humidifier right now 69 percent humidity in here so that's really good and that actually has gone down a couple of percentages so that's not bad still so guys that is it for this part two of three videos to my happy time in florida shopping for different plants that i was searching for on my wish list Though this shingle plant, no, I keep saying it wasn't, but it was on my wish list. This shingle plant was on my wish list. I found it first, actually, before I found my Trubii. And I was very excited because it was actually on the first day that I actually, I'm saying actually a lot. Anywho, I found it on the first day that I went out to go shopping for my wish list plants. And I will mention quickly the one that I did not take back though I found it and that was the iron plant. Is it called iron? I'll put it below because I can't remember right now for some reason. In fact, I also will put in video that shows that plant that I did find that was on my wish list, but it was too tall and it wouldn't have fit in the um, in the suitcase so i left it and i'll just i'll be back to florida and hopefully i'll find it again found one i want to what do you mean it's not gonna last cast iron for ten dollars okay so again this is it that was my second plant that i had on my wish list for my florida trip i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed i hope you consider doing so don't forget to comment like and share click the bell to know when a new video has posted and i appreciate you all stay healthy stay blessed stay safe out there please and god bless you all Bye-bye.